Let me tell you about Ching Shi, the legendary pirate who single-handedly became the most feared woman throughout the 18th century. The year is 1801 and Ching Shi, originally a Cantonese prostitute from Guangdong province, China, lives a humble and quiet life. Well, as quiet a life as a Chinese service industry worker could live. Her life as a pirate began one fateful evening after meeting the notorious pirate John Yi in her brothel. He was absolutely smitten with her, and some say it may have been love at first sight. Eventually, the two married. Now, it so happens that the pirate lord John Yi commanded the infamous Red Flag Fleet, which dominated the South China Sea. This pirate fleet of 300 ships captured, looted and plundered cargo containing silk, silver, gold, spices, Chinese porcelain, tea, cotton, basically anything these pirates could get their hands on. These goods were then sold to merchants on the coast. In the case of foreign ships, captured mariners were often ransomed. Coastal towns were also attacked either to loot them of provisions or to encourage the payment of protection money. In essence, they had their fingers in a lot of shady stuff. Here's where it gets really juicy. After Zhang Yi's sudden and suspicious death, Ching Shi didn't step down as the co-leader of the fleet. She actually took charge of the entire fleet. We're talking about commanding over 300 ships and 40,000 pirates. She was fierce and cunning, enforcing a strict code of laws with punishments as severe as beheading for disobedience. Well, what better way to get a rowdy pirate crew in line than a little bit of show and tell? Under her absolute command, the mighty Red Flag Fleet transformed from just an ordinary pirate crew into a well-organized maritime empire. Ching Shi was an absolute mastermind. She outsmarted the Chinese government, the Portuguese Navy and the British Navy. They all tried to capture her but failed miserably. Eventually, she negotiated a pardon with the Qing dynasty in 1810. Instead of facing execution or imprisonment, she secured her freedom, the freedom of most of her pirate crew, and even kept her wealth. Imagine walking away from piracy as a free, wealthy woman while all your enemies are left scratching their heads. She got to retire peacefully, opened a gambling house, and lived a long, comfortable life until she passed away in 1844. You know, come to think of it, Napoleon Bonaparte's famous quote, what is history but a fable agreed upon, seems to echo her incredible tale perfectly. If you enjoyed this content, you may also like this video on the truth behind the terracotta army. Were they really made out of human remains?